Are you a student looking to break into the VFX or game industry? Or maybe you know someone who is and just for once want to understand what he or she is talking about? Then this show is for you. I'm Chad Morgan and this is Newbie's Corner. Today we're going to talk about an important concept, rendering. Rendering literally means to draw. Computers render all the time. While you're watching this video on your computer, tablet, or phone, it's rendering this video to your screen. When you're talking about things like our independent production, The Last Right, we have a computer program, in our case a program called Maya, to tell the computer to render or draw a series of images. We break down the shot into layers. This makes things quicker and more efficient than rendering everything at once. How many frames Maya needs to render depends on several factors, including another key concept, frames per second. When I was a kid, my parents would take me to Disneyland and they would sell these flip books. The book would have a character like Donald Duck or Goofy, and each page would have the character in a slightly different pose. You bend the book, and the images would flip by you, creating the illusion the character is moving. This is basically how film works, whether it's animation or live action. Each frame progresses the motion forward a little bit more, and your mind fills in the gaps. The more frames per second, the smoother the motion will appear. Movies are typically 24 frames per second, while TV in America is 30. Video games can be 30 or even 60 frames per second. And if what you're watching is in 3D, it's twice that. So a movie like Disney's Frozen is about 90 minutes, which is 5,400 seconds. At 24 frames per second, that's 129,600 frames. And since Frozen was in 3D, we need to render those frames twice, once for the left eye and once for the right eye, for a total of 259,200 frames. And those are the final images. As I mentioned before, things are rendered out in layers, so only Disney knows how many frames were actually rendered. Some frames in Frozen took over five days to render. So imagine over 250,000 frames times five days per frame. That'd be about 140 years for one computer to render everything. So how did Disney do it? Simple, they used more than one computer, a lot more about the equivalent of 30,000 computers. These machines, all working as a team, are called a render farm. Video games don't have that luxury of waiting five days per frame or having 30,000 computers working in tandem. Video games use the hardware on your console or computer to render images in real time, so video game art has to be much simpler and more efficient than what you see in movies. So that's Newbie's Corner for this month. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and we'll have you feeling like an industry insider in no time.